Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Live Alive. Last time we left off, we finished off the Distant Future chapter. Really, really like that one. That one was super cool. And now we've got to choose which chapter we're going to go into first, or, or go into next. And I can already tell you which chapter that is. It's present day. Because uh, I want to go back in and get those things... Um, load game and continue chapter. Can I do that? And just, yeah. like, go go back to fighting everyone? Because that's what I want to do. I want to get the skills that I missed that some of these characters had. Um, oh, it starts me here. So wait, I would have to replay the entire chapter, I guess. Oh, that's a weird one. Hmm. So I would have to replay the entire chapter. Okay, that's a bit more awkward. If I just continue, it just takes me to the final boss. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll do that down the line. I don't have enough time today to replay an entire chapter. I thought I would just be able to hopefully jump in and just choose who I want to battle. But it uh, seems like that is not the case, so... Yeah. Alright, here we are. So we're going to go ahead and choose which one we're going to get this time. And... China! I thought we were going to get West. Alright, we're going to... Imperial China. So, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and pull back up the game and everything. Alright, here we are. Imperial China. An old Chinese master nearing the end of his life yearns to preserve his kung fu for future generations. With this purpose, does he venture forth from his home atop Mount Aspiration in search of a worthy successor to his legacy? Once he has gathered three disciples, he will subject them to relentless training to strengthen the body, enhance the reflexes, and unlock true potential. Of these three, who will rise to the occasion and become the next Shifu? Ah, it's like the name Shifu. It's like the game Sifu. Or, I, I thought it was pronounced Sifu, but it might be pronounced Shifu. That game was cool. I almost LP'd it. We are going to play Imperial China. Ha! Huh. Huh. Hmm. So I wonder if we're actually going to be doing battle with anyone, or if it's just going to be us kind of training against our disciples. Not really sure how that'll go. But we will see. I thought we were getting Wild West. Wild West is definitely the one I was looking forward to the most. Just off seeing trailers. In time, all fades from memory. Nevertheless, for the sake of future generations, an old man labors tirelessly to preserve his legacy. So hard. It's the person that taught Sabin. All right, Earthen Heart Shifu. We believe that uh, be advised that names cannot be changed. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Also, that um that dress that one character was wearing. They look like an important character, but it it reminds me of the costume you can get for Chun Li in Street Fighter. That is a very similar dress. Uh, I do believe it's a traditional. Uh, Chinese dress, so makes sense. It looks cool. Earth and hearts. Yes. That's fine with me. Going with the defaults. Here we are on the mountain. The earth and heart. Or maybe we'll train Toph. Unwavering as the earth, and a mind tranquil as flowing water. Yet gentle streams may surge with such strength to shatter even hardened stone. To cultivate the soul and surpass the flesh. To strive for something greater than oneself. That was his Kung Fu. Rock didn't even budge. Rock said nah. 
It's as I feared. You're getting old. That was a pretty sick palm strike, though. <sighs> I've not a moment to lose. I must use what time is left to me to find and train the disciple, a young prodigy, as strong in body as he in spirit. Prodigy? Prodigy spelled different. That's protege, right? <laughs> That's why the E's are accented. A worthy successor to my art. Well, we'll find you a successor, we will. Believe you me. Whew. Alrighty. Imperial China, the successor. I imagine one of them might be that very, very designed character that we saw with the twin tails. Thinking that'll be the case. I'm waiting for one of them to be named Odie. And so it was that the Shifu began his search for a young heir. Long had it been since he last ventured down from the mountains. I see. We can investigate a bunch of stuff. Shifu's Cottage. I wonder how many uh, Chinese words we're going to be seeing, because I do know some Chinese pronunciations. Like, the Q makes a ch sound. I think X makes like a jin sound, and a ZH is like zhur. Because uh, my teacher for my uh, um, Imperial China classes that I took in college for my uh, history double minor was named Zhir Hong. She was very nice. Very nice teacher. Hmm, if it isn't a pair of old weathered boots. Or a pair of weathered boots. Hmm, if it isn't a pair of Qi Lin boots. Or, yeah, 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 Qi Lin. That, 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 that's, I think that's how that's pronounced because um, I'm thinking of the... The other Chinese word I can think of is uh, the Qing Empire, which is Q-I-N-G. So I think that's Xilin Boots. Cool. So we actually have equipment in this chapter. Okay, so we're going to be fighting stuff. And we can actually switch things around. Okay, cool. Hmm. Embroidered boots said to confer the swiftness of a mythological chimera to the wearer. Well, I mean, of course I'm going to be wearing those and not the other ones, right? Iron Fist. Through relentless training, can flesh become as hardened steel to strike at one's enemies with power and precision? We don't need a weapon. Our fists are our weapon. I love punch characters. Monks, fists, like, pugilists. It's so cool. Love it so much. So this is going to be more like Pogo's chapter. Hmm, if it isn't a pork bun. Hmm, if it isn't a pork bun. Should you really be surprised? Uh, this is your house, right? Hmm, if it isn't a set of weathered garments. Hmm, if it isn't a set of weathered garments. <laughs> mm, nothing here. Hmm, if it isn't a red bean bun. Alright. You don't want to get your rice hat? Rice hat's cool, it's a look. Especially if you're uh, a samurai, but we're in China right now, so samurais are not a thing. Alright, cool. Mount Aspiration, look at us. So yeah, this is going to be more of a traditional JRPG chapter, I'm assuming. So, read ahead, Mount Aspiration Summit. We should probably go up here just to see, right? If there's a oh wait, there's a sparkly down there. I totally missed that. Um, let's look around here first, make sure I'm not missing anything. I want to grab all the things that I can, but it did look like there was something down there that I could investigate. But we do have to go up here. So you can do everything. Yeah, this looks like the mountaintop where you fight uh, Sabin in Final Fantasy VI. Should play Final Fantasy VI on the channel sometime. I would like to one day, a dream, go through like all of the Final Fantasy games. It'd be fun. I like FF. And I'll definitely be playing uh, Final Fantasy XVI when that comes out, so. God, catching up on all of them would be a, a lot though. Maybe I could just play my favorites. So, 6, 7, Tactics, 9, 10, and maybe maybe a few oddballs in there, like 12 and 8 and stuff. 
Alright, so yeah, these. I missed these. Hmm, it isn't a tuft of white clover. They were kind of blending in there. So let's uh, investigate what these actually do. So, herb that when consumed restores a small amount of HP. Moderate amount of HP to self and enhance all attributes. So that was like the, the meat that we got in Pogo's chapter. And this was the big meat, the pork bun. Okay, cool. Well, we've already got our character upgraded. Wondering what we're going to be fighting. If, is it just going to be... Ooh, that was different. Is this going to be like other characters or is it going to be like monsters and stuff? Consume to restore a very minor amount of HP to self. Interesting. Like, are there going to be critters? That, I say monsters, but like, I don't know. Can I get attacked by some kind of wildlife or something and that's what we fight? Path to village. Let's go down and see what we got. I mean, we have equipment and stuff, so I have to imagine... We're going to be getting in fights here. It's not going to be like distant future. Alright, down we go. So... Let's look at the map here. Or wait, map was back. Sorry, I'm getting this confused with... Xenoblade? Oh god. I'm playing Xenoblade at the moment too, so... Uh, picking up- pulling up the map, I'm gonna get the controls reversed. All over the place. Okay, so... Yeah, there's three different ways we can go, and they all lead to the same place, it looks like. Yunfa Market. So that leads up there. But what about these other paths I can take? I love your little run. You look funny. You look like you're, like, tired constantly. You're, like, leaning really far forward as you walk. Okay, so that probably leads to the one down there. So where does this go to? Bamboo forest ahead. Watch out for bandits. Okay, there we go. There's our enemy. That makes sense. So can I just go to any of these places? It's saying I, my, my objective is all of them. Long village. I think he told me to go to the village, so... Let's go down here first. Okay, this does actually list my objective is here. Your bandits are seeking the profit off the sickness. What sickness? Careful, traveler. Sickness is spreading here. That's sure to give an old man like you a terrible stomach ache. Oh no, I don't want the shits. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I if it's stomach cramps, then... Plain but resilient? No. So I gotta feed you something. So I'm supposed to know which herb to give you? Huh. I don't know which. Is there somewhere I can find that out? Hmm. Let's say for now. Maybe there's like a book I can read. That'll be like, uh, this is what cures stomach cramps. Or something like that. Let's go to the market first, because that's the town, and I'm pretty sure that's, you know, where we proper need to go, so. Let's go over here to the, to the market first. Just seems like a good idea to me. Okay, the Yunfa Market. Oh, that's why there's three different areas. There's there's one disciple at each. Okay. Been a while since your last visit, Shifu. It has it. Shifu, you've returned. It's so good to see you. Thank you. Glad everyone likes me here. Shifu, as I live and breathe. Forgive my poor hospitality, but food scarce is gold these days. Hello. This one brute's been running around stirring up trouble recently. Oh, that's the one I'm gonna kick the ass of and turn into my disciple? Gotta be, right? Or it's Odie. Odio. Stop! Stop! You've got to pay for that! Eccentric restaurateur. First one to grab him gets a free meal. Ooh, I'm hungry. Aha! Caught you! Finally! 
Now, pay what you owe right this instant! Oh my god. I'm embarrassed to admit this, but hearing that music really made me want Chinese food. <laughs> I could really go for, like, some, uh, some mabo tofu and stuff like that right now, or some sweet and sour. Oh my god. Might have to get that tomorrow now. It's because that's what they play in our local one. You know, they play, like, you know, at least traditional sounding Chinese music. So, uh, yeah, they use a lot of the same instruments and stuff, and it makes me think of that. Mm. I can't. <sighs> I don't have any money. Oh, really? Well, we'll just have to find another way to settle this then, won't we? Lewd. Isn't there another way I can pay eccentric restaurateur? <laughs> Alright, what's up? I'll oh, pay it all for you. This idiot's been stealing food from me since I don't know when. He single-handedly brought my business to the brink of ruin. Teach the scoundrel a lesson. Very well, I'll see to the lad. Very well, I'll see to the lad. Wait, please, don't do this. Yep, gonna have to beat your ass. Have to beat some manners into you. I mean, if you're actually just starving, I mean... That sucks, and everything. Uh, it would be nice if there was some way for you to get food if you had no money. But, uh, yeah. So, Tiger and Dragon's Rebuke. So, it gets rid of your martial. Scold an enemy with strikes to hinder martial techniques and weaken them in all respects. Humble an enemy with a swift kick that will leave them stunned. Toy with an enemy by executing a playful punch before retreating a few steps. Oh, yeah, that. Uh, misdirect enemies with flowing movements before executing a flurry of blows to hinder their martial and agile techniques. Interesting. Cool. And can you, like, back to the beginning, misdirect it? Okay, it's, a, it's attack and a reaction, so I can react with that. Surprise an enemy. It's, this is also a reaction. Oh, all of these are reactions, so I have a lot of counters. Surprise an enemy with a sudden forceful push to gain distance. Close the gap against the distant enemy and dazzle them with a somersault kick to the jaw before retreating. Oh my god, to the jaw? That put somebody on their ass. What do you mean, low damage? I guess it does paralyze them. Punish enemies striking from a distance with a strike of concentrated will. Okay, so what do I want to hit you with? Um, I, I, I was back in this, so I was like, Oh, I gotta let him hit me. I can't kill him too fast, because I gotta let him hit me to learn the new skills and stuff, but no. Alright, Hong Haka. The Haka being... That, that reminds me, it's like a traditional, uh... Uh, Australian, I believe it is? Like, kind of... Uh, what's the word for it? It's like a fitness routine, but also a traditional dance called the Haka. Heard about? Interesting one. So... Playful punch and retreats. Let's do this. Wise Fox's grace. There you go. You have no legs. And let's see. Do I have something that gets rid of your... Yeah, this. So let's inflict you with this. If I just totally, like, knock you out, right? Or, like, totally disable all of your forms of attack. You're not even attacking me, though. Even the most mighty can be restrained. There we go. There you go. Now you can't do anything. Pepper and... Oh, wow. You Okay, you got me that time. Alright, well, let's, uh... Surprise you with a sudden forceful push. Maybe... Monkeys withdraw. No, let's do this again. I think this does enough damage to take you out. Wise fox has many secrets. There you go, friend. That's all. Well, you did damage to me. You managed to hit me, so... Uh, uh, if you see an old martial artist coming your way, it doesn't matter how old they are, you turn the other fucking direction. You do not- you do not mess with them. Such strength. That was incredible, Shifu! Let that be a lesson to you, thief! Steal from me again, and I'll take it out of your hide! Tell me. Why take without paying what is due. 
I cannot pay because I have no job. No one will hire me. I have no skills, no trade. My words are poor. Yeah, I mean, see, that's that's an unfortunate circumstance because you've you've tried to find work and you can't find work, so that sucks. But my body is big, as is my hunger. I must eat. You need to become a bouncer for a club. They got a club around here? Young man, do not bemoan your body. It is a gift. Huh? But it is why I suffer. Why people laugh and call me names. How is that a gift? Because, young man, it makes you wonderful and unique. But it is for you to decide whether you will embrace your potential or deny it in shame. P p potential You think I have potential? You move with the swiftness of a man half your size. Practice. After I eat, I must run. Come with me, and I'll see that you never want for food. All I ask in return is that you take part in a few training exercises. Think of it as a job, if you like, and your meals the payment. A, a job? I've always wanted a job. Thank you, Shifu. I accept. Oh, that, you said, sh like, sure, there. Shirfu. Tell me, what is your name? Everyone else been saying Shifu, though. I think it is Shifu. Uh, Hong. Hong Haka. When do we start? And when do we eat? Ha-ha! Hong Haka became your disciple. Yeah! Oh, I thought you were going to do the... I thought you were going to do the old JRPG thing of walking inside my body, but no, you're actually following behind me. Oh, I, I missed that. That's one of those little little things about old JRPGs I miss, when all your characters just walk inside of each other so they can limit the amount of sprites on screen. Now everyone can enjoy Hoi's uh, soup dumplings again. Go and ask the Shifu to train you. What are you talking about? I am the Shifu. I want to get my hands on another dumpling. You heard? There's sickness in Wong. Sincerely hope it doesn't spread here, too. Alright, nothing over there. Hoi's restaurant is the most popular in Yunfa. I'm definitely talking to everyone. I feel like people should know that by now. Here's hoping we'll see more business in the days ahead. Take this, with my thanks. Hmm, if it isn't a pork bun. Cool. Maybe he's got the right idea. Maybe I should just eat whatever I want, whenever I want. Youth with a hearty appetite should eat their fill. Why don't you have this? Hmm, if it isn't a porcelain bowl. Oh. I thought you were gonna give me food, you just gave me a bowl? Thanks. Also, it's a weapon? I can just beat the shit out of people with a bowl? A simple dish that can be wielded as a weapon or worn to increase defense. As an accessory? Or like, fist. Oh. You already have a porcelain bowl, so we're putting the bowl as, like, a interesting. I mean, I might as well equip it. It's free defense for me. Free D. That glutton ate every last one of my soup dumplings. It'll take ages to prepare another batch, and I'm out of ingredients. Sorry. Alright, well, I will take my student and leave now. Alright, Imperial China's getting off to, uh, the exact kind of start I expected. So once we get all three of our disciples, I imagine the entire chapter is just deciding which one we want to proceed with, right? So now let's head to town, I suppose? Seems like a good call. Uh, continue over here. And down. Are we gonna train under the waterfall? I'm gonna do the train under the waterfall thing. That's always cool. Just like Ryu did. Alright, uh, I talked to you last time, I think, and you, and you. Yun's been acting uh, strangely ever since his grandmother caught the sickness. Alright, let's just force feed you herbs until it fixes the problem, why don't we? Let's try... this one's called speed, so I don't know, maybe that's for the lethargy? Let's try this. Oh, this won't do. 
Uh, no, this won't do. Uh, here you go, eat some boots. Oh, I was sure it was eat the boots. Ugh, ugh. Stomach cramps, then, yeah, so we need to find the cure to whatever this disease is, I'm guessing. That's gonna be a plot point. Okay, wow, like, everyone is sick, jeez. Or at least all the old people. Must be tough for Yun, having to look after his grandmother by himself, especially now that she's taken ill. Yeah, so we're gonna have to cure all the old people, because all the old ones are sick. That's why they said it would be dangerous to me as well. Fortifying herbs that grow in the bamboo forest, which can cure the sickness, I hear. And I've also heard that the forest is teeming with bandits, so... Okay, so before we do this, how about we go to the forest, actually? So we can grab the stuff and cure the people here. So, let's head on over there. And I'll probably be looking in the episode soon. Yeah, so we're probably gonna get into some fights with some bandits. Maybe you are the only one I get. I, I'm pretty- well, no, it said three disciples, right? So... There's no tuft of nature's providence. Oh my god, we're just gonna have to fight a tiger. Okay. <clears throat> Wasn't prepared for that. Yeah, I mean, tiger, that does make sense. I did talk about running into wild animals. And, uh, yeah, you're spook. I didn't mean to do that. Please don't shoot me. I am old. Ow. I resist that, though. Ha ha ha. Chipmunks the lights. Uh, lion's dismissal. With the ferocity of a lion. Ooh, you do not have a lot of HP. What do you have? Bear claws, batter enemies with slow but powerful barrage. Bewilder enemies with baffling dance steps that leave them in pain. <laughs> Chili beans fire, break through his enemy's defense with a fiery punch. Ooh. Send an enemy flying with a charging, spinning strike. We're all in place while kicking surrounding enemies, but lose your balance. And gather your strength to stagger enemies with a flurry of powerful kicks. So... Rind. Howie. Okay, this tiger does not do as much damage as I thought the tiger was going to do. So let's do this. Take this. Kablooey! Wow. This. Okay, that was pretty nuts. Okay. Good shit, Hong. So yeah, Shifu is already, like, max level. Seems we can't level you up anymore. You are very strong. Excuse me, what the hell was that? Bandits? No more than a weed. Yeah, okay, I see you. I see you, you little idiot. Hmm, which is not tough of nature's providence. Yeah, we need all this we can get. It reminds me of uh, walking through the bamboo grove in uh, Kingdom Hearts when you're going to fight uh, the leopard. I forget its name. All right, another tiger. Okay, you need to stop following me. One of one of these tigers gets your ass, huh? Although apparently these tigers are weak. That thing chewed on me and I just punched it and it was like, nope, I'm done. Okay, so... Chipmunk's delight. If I move forward one more, I can do that. Let's gain a, di a little bit of distance here. Yeah. Cool, so you're coming at me, you're enraged. Uh, you're gonna get a rend. Aha, you missed. That's fine. Boom. Did I do that? Yeah, that attack's pretty good. A lot of range, too. Okay. Alright, Hong. You're pretty good. Is this gonna be the first one where we have, like... Uh, or the second one where we have, like, a proper party? Like we did in Pogo's? Seems like that's going to be the case. Alright, wait, what's over here? Ooh, more herbs. Tough to nature's providence. Ooh, that's the speed well thing. <clears throat> that heals a little bit of my HP. Not so fast. Taki from Soul Calibur? Unfortunately not. An old man should know better than to walk alone in the woods. And you should know better than to try and attack a very strong looking old man. I will kick your ass. Hand over your money. Quickly, or else. Also, I'm not even alone, by the way. I'm afraid I have nothing for you. I am afraid I have nothing for you. 
What was that? I said I have nothing to offer. Nothing to offer that you would appreciate, that is. That right. Don't think I'll go easy on you because of your age. In fact, I think your long life ends today! Rude. I just said I didn't have anything you'd like. My god, Le Cougo. Cool, interesting. So, uh, let's get in here and see if we can take out your agile moves. You seem like an agile type, right? Probably would be a good call. There you go. No legs for you. Cats for approach. Not quite. What was that? You are too slow. You're too slow. Boom. Lion's reprisal. Big boom. That's all. Then. It does feel super cool just to be like crazy powerful compared to everyone else. How could this happen? How could I lose to this fool four times my age? <laughs> the young would do well not to disrespect their elders, nor underestimate their skill. I must say, I'm impressed by your speed and agility. Might you consider abandoning this life of banditry, and instead, allow me to teach you my kung fu? Piss off, old man! I like you. You're cool. Although, it's going to eat at me, not knowing how you run so easily. Fine. I accept. Let's see what's so great about your kung fu. The Sun Sun... The Sun Sun successor. It's not like I want to learn your kung fu, Babaka. But don't misunderstand me. You're not my shifu, and I'm not your student. Oh my god, you really are. <laughs> Once I've learned your secrets, I'll get my revenge on you. Yeah, that never works out. <laughs> You've a lot of spirit, young lady. Oh, I'm no lady. I'm Lei. Lei Kugel. And don't you forget it. You may rest assured that I will not. It is a good, strong name. Worthy of pride. But pride will lead you astray if you let it. As it did not so long ago. <clears throat> Quick with the retorts, aren't you? Lead on, then. We'll see if you're as good as you say. Yeah. Yeah. Os. All right, let's go. We got more herb to collect. Got to get all of this weed. The tough of nature's providence. Yes. All right. And there's more up here. It looks like. Hi, tiger. Aha! I I snuck up on you. Bam. Still only one of you, huh? Well, you're still going to go down pretty easily. Chipmunk. I see! Hiya! These tigers cannot handle us. Um, let's uh, just pass. There we go. So, can I hit you? Kingfisher's Tantrum. Dance around an enemy while bombarding them with a flurry of kicks. Rake an enemy at the swiftness of a monkey. Kick an enemy with the agility of a cat. Confuse an enemy with snake-like movements before closing the gap with a sliding kick. Ooh, that's always a cool one. Hello. You gonna hit my master? How rude of you. Well, I'm gonna see what this looks like. Well, you're dead. <laughs> that's the stuff. There we go. Good job, you two. Proud of you. Stuff of Shepherd's Purse, Nature's Providence, Entry Forbidden to All Those Who Value Their Lives. Alright, let's upgrade your equipment, why don't we? Lay Bill Hook, a curved blade for clearing brush. Ooh, dangerous weapon. Uh, there you go, you can have some weathered garments. I don't have anything better for you, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no, I have weathered boots. There you go. Okay. Enjoy your upgraded equipment, I suppose. Uh-huh. The Indomitable Fist Fortress. Hmm. I do have a little bit of extra time to potentially go longer today. Let's keep going. Screw it. What do you want, old man? There's no place for the likes of you. Why? 
What do you want, old man? There's no place for like you. I could, I could indomitable your fist fortress. Come on. All right, I guess we get out of here. I will dominate your fist fortress. Okay. Now I gotta dodge all the tigers again. Darn. Can't catch me. I'm too swift. Wow, we're actually outrunning a, a tiger. We really are fast. Quite swift. Hello. Bye bye. Wow, remarkably easy to avoid the enemies. We're stupid fast, so... I'm imagining we can't do anything with that place yet. I guess we just need to go back to town and cure everyone. So we can get our final disciple. I suppose so. I'm sure that place will come up later. But for now, it doesn't seem like anything. Alright. Continue on our merry way. Uh, hi. Here you are. Hmm? Hmm. How strange. I'm feeling better already. Wait. Aren't you... Sorry about that. Oh, you just robbed us. Or tried to. So, you're the Shifu I've heard so much about. You have my thanks and my apologies. That was my grandson Yuin who just ran through. Yuin? I would have not have guessed that. I would have just said Yun. Yuin. He is a kind and considerate boy, usually. These days, though, he's not quite himself. Maybe it's just a phase. He lost his parents when he was young, and while I did my best, there's no making up for that. Uh-huh. So, who else was sick? You were sick. Here you go. I don't believe it. Things gone just like that. Thank you so much, Shifu. Please take this. Mm, this isn't a red bean bun. I okay, gotta cure all the old people. Uh, how strange. I'm feeling better already. Thank you again. I cannot thank you enough. Iron walk. Oh my god, we just gotta walk. That we wear is armor, by the way. Who needs a defense more? Interesting. You definitely need the defense more, I feel. Like, your, your just defense stat is higher, but your physical defense is way lower, obviously, so. Um, let's give you... Yeah, deflecting slash attacks. Let's give you the iron walk, and we'll give you the weathered garments. Just, just take, uh, Lay's clothes. Alright, hello. Ugh. I am old. I don't believe it, the pain's gone. Thank you so much. Pork bun. Uh, I didn't get all of the nature's providence? Catfish whisker. Yeah, because there's still one more sick person, right? Right here? Ah! Hello? Uh, yep, I don't have enough. Okay, catfish whisker. We're gonna wear that on our head? Yep, once we're long to his catfish or something very much resembling one. Well, one of you need it more, so here you go. I'm already OP. Where do you think you're going? Well, don't keep me waiting now. Oh, you got involved with the gang. Yeah, and you were just robbing us, I'm pretty sure. Okay. No. No! This won't do at all. You need to learn to pick your targets better. Now, get back out there and try harder! <sighs> Don't just stand there! Get going! No, I won't. What was that? I did what you told me to do because I was too scared to refuse. But enough is enough. I told myself it was for her. Too sick to work now, even. But these poor people. They're someone else's elders. I can't keep stealing from them. I'll give you a chance to apologize for your... disrespect. You... You're not worthy of respect. 
I'll not live my life as a whip dog for a bastard like you. <laughs> oh, but you will. You will learn to accept your place in this world. No. Apologize before I lose my temper. No. Ah, ungrateful whelp. Okay, it's about time we get in there and help. Walk away, old man, if you value what little life you've got left. Oh, I got plenty of life left to kick your dumb ass. Come on, let's go. Wise words, pardon me. Pardon me. Oh! The dash. What do you want? Tell me. Do you believe yourself stronger than this boy? <laughs> A stupid question. And yet, in truth, you and your associates are rather weaker. <sighs> are you blind? Muscles aren't everything, especially show-offy muscles like that. People that have, like, crazy large muscles like that, they specifically build it up and you have to really work to build it up just for the aesthetic purpose. But, uh, a lot of the time, if you're just lifting for actual strength without feeling the need to show it off aesthetically, you don't really look like that. You know? Having- you have to actually work for the aesthetic parts of it. Look on me, the great Sun Tzu Wang, and tell me I am not a thousand times the man he will ever be. Got Sun Tzu's name, huh? I do not deny that you have an impressive physique. However, true strength is not derived from the body alone. And that is why I believe this boy to have greater potential than all of you combined. <laughs> really? I can't see it! <sighs> Indeed. That much is plain. God, I love Shifu. Shifu's master in sass. Nothing personnel, kid. Two strats flows from the heart. Let's go. I'm ready to beat ass. Especially since you're taking advantage of this poor kid. Bunzu Wang and hot headed lackeys. Alright, well, uh, why don't we start off with one of these? You've must just style on these idiots. Bam, just like that. Blood when I'm through with you. Will I? Trip Mung's delight. Kablooey! Uh-huh. And then aligns dismissal. Yeah! Out of here, dork. Now you're making me mad. Oh, am I? Let's give you it again. Kablooey! Out of here. I don't believe it! Absolute joke. I told you, nothing personnel, kid. That's all, then. Red bean bun, yeah. <sighs> Who is this old man? Wait. I recognize him. Me too. He, he knows Kung Fu. That's the earthen heart. He's the Shifu. He? Him? I, uh... Forgive me, Shifu! Forgive me! Wimps. Brother! You should be proud, young man. But... How can you say that? I stole your money. Uh... Your money. Here, take it. Thank you. Remember the strength of spirit you found today. Wait, wait! Please accept me as your disciple. Sigh. <sighs> I see. I'm not surprised. A weakling like me doesn't have what it takes to learn Kung Fu. I'm sorry for stealing from you. Why did we sigh? I thought you were going to be the third one. 
Or do you want something else out of the kid first? Show some sort of drive or something? So now we're going to the headquarters, right? I'm imagining that's the case. Where we're going over here. Let's just head on over here and see what we got. So wait, I'm just taking you two back. Oh wait, no, there you are. Hi. Please, please allow me to be your disciple. Please, I implore you. Well, if you insist. Well, if you insist. Shifu. You showed bravery in the face of overwhelming odds. I am sure you would grow much stronger whether I were to train you or not. For the power you seek is beyond no one. Be the man or woman, old or young, it matters not, for it is the will to improve, to be better. Therein lies true strength. I... I see. I do not believe you have told me your name. I'm Yuin. Yuin Zhou. You won't regret this decision, Shifu. I promise you. <laughs> Yuin Zhou. Yeah. Well, it looks as though I found my three disciples. I'm afraid my school has seen better days, but it will suffice. Come. Let us go and begin your training at once. Let's do it. All right, well, I think that's probably a good spot to go ahead and end it off because we only have 10 minutes left and I don't want to get, you know, locked into long cutscenes or anything like that. But uh, yeah, this one's looking to be about what I expected so far, but it's still good as all of the chapters are. So hope you've enjoyed this episode of Live Alive and I'll see you next time for some more.